Hey, welcome back, guys. All right, so let's continue here and give access to our users. So like I said before here, the, the owner, the one who is the owner in the, in the group data itself belongs to all these uh, situations. So if we're looking for members, the owner is part of that. If we're looking for moderators, the owner is part of that. And if we're looking for admins, the owner is also part of that. So what we are going to do is let's get this group data type here. Let me just paste it in here. And then instead of group type, let me do this and say owner like that. So we are simply adding the owner in advance to all of these uh, categories here. Okay. So what we want to do for our function is to populate these arrays with all the people that belong to those groups. And then once we get those people that belong to those groups, then we check if the supplied user ID meets the criteria to be in that group. Okay. So yeah, this is what we are going to do. So here now, we have to read from the database. So I will copy what I have here for reading from the database. And let me put it, uh, <clears throat> let me initialize the database here because we will need it regardless the if statement. And then let's get uh, that as well. Let me put it right here. So for members, now we want to find out who exactly is a member. So I'm going to say something like query is equal to select all from, actually we don't need all the data here. All we are looking for is um, the user IDs because that's all we need actually to know if the user is in that category. So we we'll select the user ID to limit the amount of data because there could be thousands of um, of members in this table. So the less uh, data you get, the better. So select user from group members. Where, so this is the important part, where the group name, so now we will get the group ID. So group data is right there. So let's create a group ID. And here, remember that the group ID is actually user ID because it's in the users table. So we're going to put group ID there. So where group ID, let's just say group ID is equal to, let's do that. Mm -hmm. So where group ID is equal to group ID. And wait a minute. Actually, <coughs> excuse me here. Actually, we can just look at the particular access because row is member. Okay, so I think we're just going to do this to limit the amount of data that we are going to read from there. So I will say where group ID is equal to group ID and user ID is equal to this user ID that was supplied here. Let's bring it down there. And row is equal to okay so row is equal to so here we are looking for a member yes so row should be equal to member but remember that even an admin is a member in this case okay so admin is a member as well so 
because it would be weird if we we try to if we give access and we say access here is for all members and then we forget about the admin then the admin won't have access but members will so that's that would be weird so row is equal to member now we would do an or statement here and say row is equal to um, admin also row is equal to moderator i hope that is the correct spelling okay so we're just looking for one where all this is true so we'll say limit one now it's important that this is evalu evaluated first before adding to those so we'll put this in brackets like this so that any of this is true then we are good to go we are golden okay so if this is true actually yeah this has made things even simpler so I'll say if is array data so if it's an array we're going to return true or else actually I don't even need to put else here it will get here so regardless if we say return here it will return here but if it gets there then uh, we just put false here like so okay so I think you get the idea now so let me copy this so if access is equal to admin we have a similar situation here And then let me duplicate this up to there, like so. So I'll leave admin at the bottom here. Here I'll put moderator so that we go uh, step by step like this. So here where the moderator is, we have to change member. We have to change moderator. And we leave admin. Oh, actually it was already here. So I just needed to remove member here and over here i just need to remove member and moderator okay so that's about it actually these are id your id row 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 so you can remove the brackets at the end there but we'll leave them be okay so access admin access return true return false and if it's none of this return false okay uh, right okay i think this is fine now i wanted to add the reason why this is here i wanted to add the options for uh, each checking whether the group type is public or it's now i figured it's going to complicate the function. It's going to limit the usability of this function. I want this function to be kind of general purpose. So what I will do is I will mute these for now. We are going to come back to them when we need them. For now, we actually do not. So I'll leave this. We're going to evaluate this from outside. I think it will give this uh, function more versatility so that it's not so specific. So for now, we're going to mute this and let's move on. So member, moderator, admin. Okay, pretty good. So let's give it a test run and see uh, what this will do. Now, unfortunately, as you have already seen here, um, the owner here, the owner of uh, the page is an admin, the owner of the group, sorry, is already an admin so we are supposed to account for that as well so for example here if the access is for members uh, what we will do is we'll check for let's see here group data owner the same one because remember that this person is in the group uh, in the user ID as the owner and not part of group members. 
So to avoid locking them out, let's put a provision for that. So we can return Ellie here. So I will say, if uh, group data owner is equal to user ID like this, if this is true, then we can simply return here without even going to the database. So return oof, almost did that to the admin. So let me copy here. So this is true for all of them. So actually, regardless who their member is, regardless what we are looking for, whether we're looking for moderator, we are looking for admin, this uh, remains to be true because if you own the group, you have total access to it. So I think what we'll do is just remove this and put it right at the top here. Like that, okay. We don't even need to instantiate this. So let's save some memory here by putting it down there so that in case we are at this point, we don't need to do any of this. Let me put this down as well. Okay, I think uh, we, are, we are doing fine. Okay, so let's put uh, our function to the test. Let's see if it needs any upgrading. So we'll give it a test run.